good morning everyone welcome to the morning con call first we we'll start with the derivative and technical update on the technical front yesterday nifty open on a negative note due to global queues and close almost flat uh, on the daily chart uh, nifty witness a buying at a lower levels almost to recover from days low levels so all if you see chart pattern is a positive so any decline should be used to add a stock specific long trades now 17800 level will act as a immediate support level and 18200 is a immediate resistance for the nifty on the sectorial front yesterday psu bank specially witnessed a buying momentum uh, psu bank and reality were a top gainers while it and consumer were a top losers on the bank nifty front yesterday bank nifty outperformed compared to the nifty and overall uh, broader market if you see bank nifty yesterday outperformed and closed in the green with a gain of 0.37 percentage last seven session bank nifty traded in a consolidate consolidation range but yesterday buying was seen at the lower levels and now 14800 will act as a immediate support and 41500 and 41800 are the resistance level for the bank nifty on the derivative front uh, nifty futures added a new short position of around 3.38 so addition of 13.16 uh, lakh shares major addition in the call option was seen at 18100 around 9 uh, 91.60 million shares and 80 18200 call by 74.7 million shares while on the put option front major addition was seen at 18000 put up around 82.61 million share nifty pcr oi so uh, matlab if you see the previous close is a 1.13 and yesterday close is a 1.19 so overall percentage change is a 5% uh, then bank nifty added a fresh long of around 9.8% which is a addition of around 23.4 lakh shares while major addition in the call option was seen at 41300 call around 32.46 million shares and 41500 call around 28.12 million shares on the bank nifty front uh, put option front major addition was seen at 41300 put by 43.71 million shares and 41000 put by 32.90 million shares long build up uh, seen at coromandel and the short build up are seen at voltas and polycash so now if you see on the uh, fir data so fir sold uh, yesterday uh, minus 11358 contracts and overall net long by uh, positive 26774 so net long short ratio is at 59 percentage still the data is good number is good on the cash option front fi buys uh, 670 uh, sorry 677 crore and di sold minus 732 crore so that's it from my end. now i will hand over to bunty sir for further research update thank you and over to you sir thank you shitija uh, good morning team uh, few updates from my side as the result season continues so we will start with few results so yesterday hdfc limited <clears throat> has reported a stable set of numbers in terms of profitability asset quality as we see asset quality has improved with gross stage 3 asset declining to 1.9 versus 2.1% and that was very well supported by non individual portfolio also if you see the am growth am growth has come down slightly Uh, from 17% last quarter to 15.6% during this quarter however in this am growth individual part individual portfolio has remained strong at 20% yoy and that was supported by disbursement growth which grew by 36% on a yoy basis in h1 fi23 in terms of margins margin has not uh, has remained stable on a sequential basis that is q on q at 3.4% because the company follows the quarterly reset of loans however incrementally they are moving to monthly reset which should have a positive impact in sec- in <coughs> quarters ahead however in terms of profitability <coughs> profit grew by 18% on a yoy basis because of the lower provision as we have said asset quality has improved during this quarter that has supported the provisioning part as such 
However, for the stock specifically moment, if you see HDFC Limited, as we see already, there is a merger going on between HDFC Limited and HDFC Bank. So more focus in terms of stock performance will be the RBS dispensation policy uh, for the HDFC for the merger. Which and uh, which is expected in next six to nine months as such. So that will be the key focus area for the stock movement as such on the HDFC Limited. However, on a long term per se, fundamentally we remain very much positive and bullish with a target price of two nine five zero. Secondly, on the Kansai. Kansai narrow leg result was slightly above our estimates because the revenue growth was clearly healthy, driven by revival in auto business. 3% hike in industrial and decorative coating segments respectively and the revenue mix was impacted by first down trading in decorative coating second higher contribution from industrial due to healthy automotive paint business the journey of exiting low low margin business while improving salience of premium products is progressing well in fact salience of waterproofing business now stands at 6% if you compare with the last quarter q1 fi23 at 5% so 6% versus 5% by leveraging ex existing distribution channel which is 35% of the total in uh, distribution expansion stacking well with 3000 retail addition in h1 fi23 we remain positive and have a buy rating with a target price of 551 Thirdly, on the Hero Motor Corp, Hero Motor Corp has reported inline uh, numbers with respect to market as well as our estimates. If you see the net sales part, uh, then net sales have grew by 7% on a YY basis and 8% on a Q1Q basis. However, there was a decline in the EBITDA. Uh, EBITDA margin has declined to 11.4% versus 12.6% on a YY basis. That is purely on the basis of <clears throat> higher cost. <clears throat> Similarly, the profitability uh, profit has declined by 10% on a YOI basis to 716 crores. But if you see sequentially, there has been a strong growth of 14% on a Q1 Q basis. So we have a, a hold rating on the stock with, uh, <clears throat> with a target price of 3062. Coming to this, a few news updates. Uh, firstly, India Mart. India Mart has announced that. It has acquired 8% stake in Mobsi Technology Private Limited for a consideration of 15 crore rupees, which value the company at 188 crores. So that is 4x of FI22 sale. After this acquisition, India Mart will hold 25% stake in the company. And Mobsi is a SaaS based product named Bismon, which allows business to digitize their sales and distribution process. So this seems to be very much positive development for India Mart. So we can keep a watch on this stock as such. Wipro has an appointed Amit Chaudhary as the new COO. He was previously employed as a CEO of Capgemini. In his new role, he will be responsible for improving the organizational efficiency to drive growth and would manage the global business operation. This is a very much positive development for Wipro as the company had previously discontinued this post as a part of restructuring plans. However, after that, it has seen five top official exits in the past few months. With this reinstatement of this post, we believe there will be some stability in the leadership team. And this <clears throat> seems to be the positive development as such with respect to Wipro and our target price stands at 425. So that's it from my side. Over to you, Bridges, sir. Uh, thank you, Bandit, sir. Uh, good morning, team. So a few more uh, news updates from my end. Uh, to start with Ad Adani Enterprise, the company has con uh, the company has come with an uh, quarterly numbers. The net profit for the quarter uh, September quarters has increased to 461 crores. So the company and the consolidated revenue in Q2 has nearly uh, surged by uh, threefold year on year basis to touch uh, rupees 38,175 crores. So the results are good. Second is on Hero Motoko. Uh, uh, the company's net profit uh, has now fell by 8.63% uh, year on year, which is a rupees of 682 crores, in, uh, which is seen in the second quarter. This is uh, basically regarding the, uh, ma mainly because of weakening of the rural demand. 
coming to mahindra life size developer the real uh, the real estate and infrastructure development uh, business of the mahindra group has reported a net loss of rupees 7.74 crores for the quarter ended september against a net profit of rupees 6.52 crore in the year ago next one is on amaraja batteries the company ha has reported a 39% year on year increase in the profit at rupees uh, 201 crore for q2 the revenue for the quarter has rose to 19.3% to rupees uh, 2700 crores uh, next is on uh, sanofi india the company has recorded a profit of rupees 130.9 crores in q2 which is down uh, which uh, down by 75% year on year due to an exceptional gain in the previous year so revenue fell 8.3% year on year to rupees 692 crore for the quarter so next one is on blue star the company has posted 37% year on year increase in consolidated profit at rupees 43 crores in Q2, its revenue came 27% higher uh, at rupees uh, 1,576 crores. The next one is on JK Lakshmi Cement. The cement company has recorded a 29% year-on-year decline in uh, consolidated profit at rupees 61.8 crores in Q2. Its revenue rose by 13.6% to rupees uh, 1373 crore as compared to the same period in the last year. Next one uh, is on Ajinta Pharma. The company has posted 20% year on year decline in profit at rupees 157 crore. The revenue uh, from the operations have rose to 6% to rupees 938 crore. Uh, then the Cochin shipyard. The company has backed an international order for two commission, commissioning service uh, operation vehicle from an European client. This vessel will be used for offshore wind, wind farm installation. The estimated uh, project cost is around 1,000 crores. And SRF, uh, the company has approved projects for setting up four new plants and capacity enhancement of an existing plant to produce various special chem, uh, specialty chemicals at an estimated cost of 604 crores. And lastly, the persistent, the company has announced a strategic partner with the software AG to develop joint solution to accelerate operational excellence by motorizing applications and process, as well as moving data more, easy, more easily across enterprises to unlock the values. Before we end up, there are few, uh, the results which are to be watched today are This sorry, uh, Britannia, uh, Cipla, Titan, Gale India, uh, Indigo, Aditya Bila Fashion, uh, and Escorts Co Fashion, Mahindra Logistics, Marico, TVS Motor, and Vocal. So, these are the results which we need to be watching today. So, that's all from mine. I will hand over to Hitendra for more Hindi updates. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Good morning, everyone. I call for Hindi. Start getting HDFC results with the HDFC care results with the cross three assets with the Dhan Dikaya and Judy 1.9 percentage of the 2.1 percentage quarter quarter. Basically, non individual portfolio say, ye hame bada dikhiye. Second, the structure the assets will be stable the 0.7 percent. This one, so it's my hame growth the key 36 percent year on year is my individual loan key achieve growth the key. But how AUM growth is slightly thought as a slowdown big thing to be 17 percent say, get a 15 point six pay away. Uh, NMs we see that the company is stable and the quarterly reset uh, rate hike impacts a little bit. So, as so, so, a the pad, it grew 18% year on year and the lower provisions ke 5% grew. Uh, NI we see that the growth grew 13% in the past. And overall the provisions we see that 131.5 billion in the past. So, now we have to say that the RBI has approval to the dispensation of the RBI. Normally, I like to say, hopefully, 
सेकेंडली हम देखेंगे कंसर्न एरो की कंसर्न एरो के जो जो रिजल्ट है हमारे एस्टिमेट्स के ऊपर थे रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ देखा गया तो हेल्दी थी बेसिकली जो रिवाइवल और ऑटो सेगमेंट में उसके चक्कर उसकी चर्चा थी ये देखा और उसका थ्री हाइक देखा है इंडस्ट्रियल एंड डेकोरेटिव सेगमेंट्स में रेवेन्यू मिक्स भी देखेंगे तो इम्पैक्ट थोड़ा सा हमें डेकोरेटिव कोटिंग सेगमेंट्स में थोड़ा सा हुआ जो कि हायर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन हमें मिला है बट हमें हायर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इंडस्ट्री डिमांड से ही मिला है और कंपनी अभी अपनी जर्नी में है जो कि एग्जिट करी है लो मार्जिन बिजनेस से जो कि इंप्रूव करेगी इनकी सेलिंग्स ऑफ प्रीमियम प्रोडक्ट्स में और वाटर प्रूफिंग बिजनेस भी अच्छे से ग्रो हो रहा है जो कि पहले 5 परसेंट दे रहा है सिक्स परसेंट के आसपास हो रहा है डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्सपेंशन के भी प्रोसेस में आगे चल रहे हैं इनके पास अभी टोटल थ्री थाउजेंड रिटेल आउटलेट्स है एच वन एफ में सो करेंटली हम हमारे ईपीज एस्टिमेट्स को मेनटेन कर रहे हैं और बाई रेटिंग है टाइम क्लास फाइव फिफ्टी वन के साथ सेकेंडली हम देखेंगे हीरो मोटो कॉप के नतीजे हैं नतीजे देख रहे तो हमारे नाइन के एस्टिमेट्स के हिसाब से सो so, अगर हम देख रहे तो नेट सेल सेवन परसेंट से ग्रो हुआ बायो आई पे बट अबिटा में देखा तो थ्री परसेंट का फॉल देखा गया है बट कॉटन कॉटन बेसिस पे सारे नंबर्स अच्छे हैं नेट सेल्स पे भी एट परसेंट का जम्प देखा है और टेन परसेंट का जम्प देखा गया अबिटा में बट मार्जिन में श्रंकेज देखी है जो कि ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सिक्स सेकेंड के इलेवन पॉइंट फोर हुआ है और कॉटन कॉटन में मामूल इसी बढ़त देखी और नेट प्रॉफिट देख रहे हैं तो उसमें भी टेन का फॉल देखा है जो कि सात करोड़ का है कॉटन कॉटन पे देख रहे हो तो 14 परसेंट का जम देखा है सो so करेंटली अभी इसके ऊपर हमारी होल्ड रेटिंग है टारगेट प्राइस 3062 के साथ दो स्पेसिफिक न्यूज अपडेट्स है इंडिया मार्ट ने अनाउंस किया है कि उन्होंने एट परसेंट का स्टिक एक्वायर किया वो भी सी टेक्नोलॉजीज में जो कि कंसिडरेशन है फिफ्टीन करोड़ के लिए और इसकी वैल्यूएशन फॉर्म की हो जाती है वन एटी एट करोड़ के आसपास की जो कि फोर एक्स एफ आई ट्वेंटी टू सेल्स की इस एक्विजेशन के बाद इंडिया मार्ट इसके लिए थर्टी फाइव परसेंट स्टेक होल्ड करेगा और मोबी सी एक एक सॉफ्टवेयर एज ए सोल्यूशन बेस्ड प्रोडक्ट कंपनी है जो कि बायजोम और जो अलाउ करता है बिजनेस को डिजिटाइज करने के लिए अपने सेल्स को और डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रोसेस के लिए तो ओवरऑल एक पॉजिटिव डेवलपमेंट ग्लोबल बिजनेस को सो ओवरऑल एक पॉजिटिव डेवलपमेंट है इसके साथ हम देखेंगे और थोड़े रिजल्ट अपडेट रिजल्ट अपडेट स्टार्ट करेंगे अडानी एंटरप्राइजेस के साथ अडानी एंटरप्राइजेस के नेट प्रॉफिट में देखा गया तो 461 करोड़ देखा गया जो कि डबल है लास्ट ईयर के सामने और इनका जो रेवेन्यू है वो सर्च हुआ है थ्री टाइम्स क्योंकि ईयर ऑन ईयर पे थर्टी करोड़ था सेकेंडली है महिंद्रा लाइफ स्पेसिस इनकी महिंद्रा लाइफ स्पेसिस एज अ लॉस पोस्ट की है इनके नियर अराउंड एट करोड़ के आसपास का जो कि उन्होंने लास्ट अगर सीन या क्वार्टर देखेंगे तो साढ़े करोड़ का प्रॉफिट था हमारा जब बैटरी के भी नंबर्स आए हैं नंबर्स हम देख रहे तो रेवेन्यू 14 परसेंट का जम देखा गया जो कि सत्ताईस करोड़ का है एबिटा देखा गया तो 3 परसेंट डाउन है जो कि 358 करोड़ का मार्जिन देखा जाए तो उसमें भी फॉल ही दिखी है 15 परसेंट से गिर गया थर्टीन पॉइंट टू परसेंट का आया है सेनेफो इंडिया ने देखा जो उन्होंने एक प्रॉफिट रिकॉर्ड किया था 130.9 थर्टी पॉइंट नाइन करोड़ जो कि इस क्वार्टर में जो कि सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट डाउन हुई है क्योंकि लास्ट ईयर कोई एक्सेप्शनल गेम हुआ था उसके चलते इतना बड़ा प्रॉफिट देखा था बट रेवेन्यू में भी हमें फॉल ही दिखी है जो कि एट पॉइंट थ्री परसेंट के आसपास है जो कि सिक्स नाइनटी टू करोड का है ब्लू स्टार के भी नंबर देखे गए नंबर में देखा जाए तो थर्टी सेवन परसेंट का वायु वायर आइस देखा गया कंसोलिड प्रॉफिट में जो कि फोर्टी थ्री करोड़ है और रेवेन्यू में भी जम देखा गया ट्वेंटी परसेंट हायर है जो कि पंद्रह सौ छिहत्तर करोड़ रुपये है जीके लक्ष्मी के भी नंबर्स हम देख रहे हैं इन्होंने प्रॉफिट सॉरी ईयर ऑन ईयर 29 परसेंट का डिक्लाइन पोस्ट किया है जो कि 61 करोड़ का है और रेवेन्यू देखा जाए तो 13.6 परसेंट के आसपास का जो कि 1373 करोड़ का है सेम क्वार्टर लास्ट ईयर अजंता फार्मा के भी नंबर्स में हम देख रहे हैं 20 परसेंट वाई वाई डिक्लाइन दिखा है प्रॉफिट में जीके एक करोड़ का है और रेवेन्यू देख रहे तो उसमें रेवेन्यू में जम दिखी है जो कि छह के आसपास की है जो कि नौ करोड़ की है कोचिन शिपिहार ने एक ऑर्डर बैक किया है इंटरनेशनल ऑर्डर है जो कि सी एस ओ ही है कमिश्नल सर्विस ऑपरेशन वेसल है ये कि यूरोपियन लैंग से ऑर्डर मिला है ये वेसल यूज होगी ऑफ शोर वैन फार्म इंस्टॉलेशन में और इस्टीमेट प्रोजेक्ट का एक हजार करोड़ के आसपास का ऑर्डर है एस आर एफ को भी कंपनी को एक अप्रूवल मिला है प्रोजेक्ट सेटअप करने के लिए इनकी चार नई प्लान जो कि एनहांस करेंगे एक्जिस्टिंग प्लान को प्रोड्यूस वेरियस स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स के लिए और इसकी कॉस्ट होगी मेरा छः सौ चार करोड़ की प्रोसेसर सिस्टम ने कहा है कंपनी ने अनाउंस किया स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप विद सॉफ्टवेयर ए जी बेसिकली डेवलप करेगी जॉइंट सोल्यूशन टू एक्सिलेट ऑपरेशन एक्सीलेंसी के लिए मतलब ये मिलकर ऑपरेशन एक्सीलेंसी और मॉडलाइजेशन एप्लीकेशन और प्रोसेस की भी काम करेगी और
सो ओवरऑल आज के अगर हम रिजल्ट्स देख रहे हैं तो ब्रिटानिया स्टिला टाइटन गेल इंटरग्लो इंडिगो जो है इंटरग्लोबिगेशन आदिदेवेला फैशन एस्कॉर्ट्स वो फैशन महिंद्रा लॉजिस्टिक्स मैरिको टीवीएस मोटर्स एंड वॉकआर्ट सो ये रिजल्ट्स करेंगे तो हम ये स्टॉक्स में थोड़े नई या फ्रेश पेशेंट से भी नीचे रिजल्ट आने तक का वेट करना चाहिए और उसके बाद ही हमें कुछ सूचना चाहिए सो दैट्स इट फॉर माइंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर डिंग द मॉर्निंग कॉल कॉल यू मे नॉट डिस्कनेक्ट